check, check. Sean Ski and the place to be. Turned into Third World TV. Get a tour. We got our guest, Nuru, the fourth full G in this hey, bitch. What's going on? Cool and cool and feeling good. Yeah, yeah. You know, today I wanted to talk uh, self love, spirituality. You know, we was uh, briefly talking about it on some nice marijuana. How uh, these fuck niggas be trying to get you out your character. And I feel like a lot of that negative energy can translate to your business, mm -hmm. fuck with your psyche. It's like, what things do you do as an artist to like alleviate them type of stresses in your endeavors? Uh, smoke weed <laughs> is one, definitely. Um, but I mean, I really just try to say to myself, um, I really be under a little show <laughs> but a, lot of, um, a lot of the times, but like meditating, fucking doing research, and just really trying to keep yourself like up and encouraged, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? That shit definitely can bring you down, like I agree. Self-love is important. I, mean, I started the exercise of self-love practices, but I feel like it took me to go through so many situations, bad situations. With people I might have been doing business with, or just had close relationships with, or my family, what have And, um, you know, I'm an artist myself, and I'm, I just really try not to, like, let that shit keep me in a constant state of negativity. But, like, I, I, I've been following you for a minute, and I see that you push positivity all the time. And it's like, for a nigga like me, it's kind of <laughs> difficult to, like, really stay there, because, like, I feel like I, I let people see the ugly sides of myself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's also important though as an artist because you are so brain, you know what I'm saying? Like, to not always allow people to see that type of shit. So yeah. like, how have you become so good at just, I'm just gonna push positivity in my content and all that other shit is just my personal. Yeah, um, well don't, you know, like, I, I still a certain, like, I, I, I feel like I still have like content mm -hmm. that is like, I wouldn't say ratchet, but mm. that's still, you know, like, I still can talk about certain shit for real, mm. but like, I, I get what you're saying overall, like, just pushing positivity and shit, and just like, I don't know, really like, like, like we were saying before, I'm from like right where everybody else from, you get what I'm saying, so I still have shit in me, it's still like a part of me, you feel me, um, <clears throat> But just really just try to be like a better person overall and just looking at the bigger picture, like you feel me? Like, it's about like the youth and like setting an example, you feel me? Like, man, you know what I mean? So, and I know it's like a lot of kids that's looking at me. Like, I really care about the, the kids and like how they affect it and all of the shit at the end of the day. Because, you know, once we gone, it's just gonna be them and they gonna be pushing the culture. They gonna be, you know what I mean? So, we definitely gotta instill. You know the proper shit into the youth, like just like our history before slavery type shit. Mm -hmm. Niggas gonna talk about that in, in schools. Niggas gonna talk about that behind you know closed doors. Mm -hmm. Like don't nobody, you know. I feel like don't nobody really even care at this point. You feel me? Like, yeah. How does that even and like so much other shit relate to us? You know what I mean? In our culture as black people, you know what I'm saying? Like the type of shit that we promote. I, I feel like that now it is being a lot more cooler keep pushing positivity and all that type of stuff, and spirituality. But I feel like that for a while, like, niggas thought that shit was cool, cool, and soft, and, like, sensitive, and I don't understand that's true too. why, like, you know, as black people, as a people that we do that, like, that's, that shit kind of oppressing, you know, so you don't want to be oppressed by your own people and shit just yeah. because you want to exercise self-love habits mm -hmm. or you want to unlearn certain behaviors that people think is normal, normalizing, like, conditioning from times of slavery or from, like, you know, just... Growing up in fucked up households and shit like that, like you know, like that type of shit weigh down heavy on us, and like we express that through our art. But we do got kids and shit looking at us. A lot of us as artists got kids, or these people have kids. Period. And it's 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 rare when you hear artists that say I'm doing this for the kids, because like a lot of my fuckers will say I don't want to be no role model. Yeah, that's and true. I think that's kind of crazy because it's like regardless, you know, you put yourself in a position for people to be seen, and it's mm -hmm. like this shit being recorded, like this ain't going nowhere. This forever. Everything that you put on some audio that people can physically see or hear, yeah, that shit forever. Yeah, that's real. That shit forever. You know? Yeah, I fuck with that though. But I agree with you when you were saying. Um, what was uh? I mean, we was talking about the youth, but it was it was something that you said specifically that was like. God, let me 
remember. Yeah, I don't even remember <laughs> specifically, but it was something that she was saying. Um, I mean, um, you, yeah, we we touched on a lot. Like, you know, it, it's important. It's important that you know us as as artists we, we push the culture forward because you know we we leave it behind legacies in our in our art. And even in the moves that we make, man, yeah, trying to promote generational wealth because we, we come from a lot of people who have been oppressed and those on the island behaviors that put us in these hard times. Like, you know, we try and build a melting pot in this city, you know, yeah. for, for people to build themselves up and do what they need to do. And even though it's nice to have workshops and you teach niggas how to write a contract and conduct business, you gotta have workshops too to teach people how to love themselves, yeah. or how to talk that's to themselves, right. how to motivate themselves. I feel like that shit is just as important because yeah. us as artists, you know what I'm saying, we, we support each other to a degree. You know what I'm saying? But it can't just because all oh, your shit just like dumb hard. Like, what are you talking about? What do you yeah. stand for? And what are you doing, like, you know, to put back and take this mouth and pop? Mm -hmm. And I heard you talking about, like, you know, your up and smoke events and all that type of shit, which I was invited to run. I appreciate yeah. that. But it's like, you know, as an artist providing platforms for other artists, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. You know, a lot of artists don't yeah. do that. Yeah, that's real. They all about they self. Mm -hmm. yeah, I get you. I uh, feel that. I fuck with that. And if y'all haven't, you know, this right here, hi. this right here, Dami, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is definitely going to be a classic. Yeah. It is a classic. I, I, you know, I stamped it. It's got the ski yes. stamp, the third world yes. stamp. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You, know, you got to definitely go get this, the almanac, yo. Like, I appreciate some good music, yo. And what I fuck with the most about our generation, yo, niggas been putting out some. Good ass music, yeah. yo. Like some classic shit. You know how you go back and you might listen to some Nas or something. You feel like, damn, that, that should give you that feel. Yeah, that should stay well. And I be and I feel that with a with a lot of artists out here now. That shit just resonates. Hit me in a way like it reminded me of my childhood when I heard some shit that made me feel good. Mm. Yeah. 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 Make that shit that feel good. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Through the speakers and shit. So I, so oh, I be high. To your point though, um, before I remember what you were saying, you were saying um, like pushing positivity or like that self love shit. A lot of the times it, it's looked at as like being soft and shit like that. But that's because I feel like the culture has changed and it's not even necessarily us. It's because of like the people that's in control of our music now. You feel me? Because like before. We had people that was talking about real shit, you feel me? Like we had tribe, we had uh, native tongues, we had, you feel me? Like we had poor righteous teachers. Like we had motherfuckers that was really talking real shit. But, and that was actually a part of hip hop. It wasn't just like conscious rap. It wasn't a type of conscious rap. That was just hip hop. That's just what it is. We just instilling our history. We giving game. Like even then when you think about Tupac and Biggie and niggas like that, they was telling you how to sell drugs, but they was, telling, they was giving you game. They wasn't like, you get what I'm saying? They like weren't they, just trying to tell you to be a drug dealer. Exactly. They were like, telling you how to cook your shit. They telling you how to cook your shit. They telling you how to get, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, tell, they telling you to, you feel me? Like, nowadays, niggas just like, yeah, pop hurts, sip lane, had a seizure. Cool. Yeah, the whole time, niggas don't tell you that that shit remnants of heroin and you gonna be having the same withdrawals as a fucking crackhead. Mm -hmm. Or, you get what I'm saying? Niggas don't say that true. shit, you feel me? So it's like... Niggas don't wanna put you up on game and, and don't appreciate good music until you ain't got that shit. And they come back to the niggas that's, control of the music, that's in control of the music, you feel mm -hmm. me? We not in control of our music no more. Mm -hmm. So, you feel me? Um, and it's like, <laughs> you know, I see the, the thing about it is too, like niggas got so much information like at your hands, you know what I'm saying, you got so much information and you know the shit, you still choose to like follow these trends or just, I don't know, like be a nigga that don't give a fuck, like yeah. I don't want to know what's going on, like yeah. I don't know, like I don't, I don't want to be oblivious to what's going on. You know, uh, with my people and to my culture and shit, because like all of that is still a part of conditioning. You know, that's yeah. taking you away from. I feel like what you originally meant to be, and I feel like it's a part of the universe. Yeah. Like niggas just be here blowing in the wind and shit. Yeah, just just floating. You mm -hmm. feel me? It's what I do. You feel me? So don't need no. to tune and shit. Like it be a lot going on out here, and that's I just real. feel like that the the one thing niggas need to push a lot more is love, y'all. Like mm -hmm. we need more love in this world. That's real. <laughs> it be hard That's though, real. cause like me, I get listen. I be like, I patience be short. Sure. Patience be 
Like, <laughs> I feel you. But I feel like too. That's that's also like trying to intertwine energies that's just not on the same frequency. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you kind of you kind of got to separate yourself from certain people. People that bring up the worst in your shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm around you, you constantly make me want to slap the shit out of you. I really mm -hmm. don't need to. I don't need to be yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> Like-minded, you gotta be around like-minded folk for real. And, and then you, you will find them, they'll find you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and you know, it, it's about, you know, changing things within ourselves too, and just reflecting a lot. Because uh, every day, you know, you're bound to make mistakes, that's just life. But you know, and, and being a better person, you gotta take accountability, and you have to keep pushing the shit that you're saying about. Like, mm -hmm. niggas always talking, and we talking about actions, and that shit's yeah. louder than anything, you know? Louder than the loud in the pot. <laughs> yeah, I talk drugs on my show, y'all. I mean, other than that, though, you know, I'm all for uh, spirituality and shit. How y'all be feeling about, like, uh, people that's into, like, the crystals and things? I be hearing a lot of people say stuff like, that's witchcraft. These people are, like, you know, very... Interesting people. I'm, I myself read into crystals, but it's just like it's interesting to hear the perspectives that people have. And it's like, but they're promoting like spirituality and like healing and all of that type of thing. I don't know what's. Can I talk? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like it's just levels to the shit for real. And you gotta know what you're doing and move what you're doing shit. Because like now it's super trendy and people hopping on shit playing with tarot cards and don't even know what you're doing. Like, I feel like crystal, it, it's just levels. Like, crystals are fine. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, that's a natural, like, Christian yeah. shit. And you're using the tools that was provided to help better your life. But it's just a be careful kind of thing when mm -hmm. you open that door to other stuff. Because it's like, you over here, you know, partaking in some elements of witchcraft. But in your personal life, you scoundrel and manipulating mm -hmm. people. Like, that shit come back. <laughs> <laughs> you need to really be into your shit before you start funneling other words and shit. This is definitely some facts. <laughs> 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 I ain't got no better way to put it. I will get this question right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm funny, man. Um, I don't even know for real. Um, all in all, like, I feel like that everybody has a point in their life where they reach like their spiritual awakening mm -hmm. and then you start to enter into your journey, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, for you, did you feel like that you came to a point like where you had the spiritual awakening? Um, yeah, 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 when I started feeling like, like people in my family wasn't really getting me, you know mm -hmm. then I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I get it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was one of those type of situations where it was like you know a lot of people like a lot of people i was close to in my family i started growing away from mm -hmm. just because we wasn't really like vibing like we just wasn't on the same group i feel that and it's definitely difficult when it's your family was y'all like living in the same house and all of that at one point yeah, yeah you know but yeah, yeah. i feel like no kind of the same you know I, I definitely can relate to that type of situation your family like they're the closest people to you so it's certain things that you want to share with them when you feel like you can't because they don't understand that's not the best feeling yeah that's not really the best feeling at all okay when uh um about the crystals and mm -hmm. what you were saying about that um I don't know. Um, I agree with what she was saying as far as the crystals being like a part of earth. Like yeah. it's like herbs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Of course you're going to use herbs to, you know, for certain benefits and yeah. properties that it yeah. or whatever. But um, yeah, like when it comes down to like that type of stuff, you just got to be careful. Because like, I don't know, even the word witchcraft in, it, in itself come from Wicca. And yeah. that's, that's that white people shit. <laughs> That's what that is. That's like our. That's African spirituality mm. 
mixed mm -hmm. and you know with paganism and everything else and you know with some you know what I mean I feel it. that's it's what kind of all twisted up yeah you feel me so yeah, you just gotta true. you gotta be careful you gotta mm -hmm. know this what you just gotta understand like you gotta have discernment you mm -hmm. feel me and trust it like you you know I feel it and yeah like what she was saying the whole thing about it being trendy because I am seeing how now to me it seems very very trendy for people to be into these yeah uh, you know I, I guess this holistic lifestyle, so mm -hmm. to say, and doing all of these things. Um, it, it's, a, it's a deeper meaning behind it, but like, you know, it do get wicked with people who say that they are, I'm into healing properties, I'm into bettering myself, but like, say, you're a messy ass bitch, or you're yeah. like, you like, you all, you just causing drama, we can have it. <coughs> like, it's, a, it's a contradiction, of, I guess, what you're trying to represent. And y'all do believe in like karmic laws and shit, like, whatever we put out to the universe, we do get that shit back. Definitely. And like, also, when that shit become trendy, that's when the power of the bees get their hands on. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the sage ain't as potent as it used to be. Ooh. Or, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the shit that you you playing with, they already been cursed it or whatever yeah. before they even put it out to the masses. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? I so feel it, it's shit. touchy. Like, you. you uh. <laughs> when you know certain shit, you gotta know this, 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 mm -hmm. this, this, and this to even put all of this together. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Can't skip steps. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Type <laughs> shit. Like, like the thing. I feel sure, it. So, sure. um, you know, it, it's it's a process. I feel like for all of us, but I just kind of feel like that we have to be honest with ourselves before we can be honest with people and say like it's definitely a journey, and everybody's journey is their own. You know, mm -hmm. so at different points in people's lives, y'all kind of probably gonna like cross paths or separate from one another because it's just like not meant for you. Wherever you're trying to go at in that moment, in that moment of time, you want that person probably just ain't aligning with each other. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it's 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 a lot of us not knowing things about ourselves that we haven't been taught as, you know, children and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that we can go back with all that conditioning shit. Yeah. Because a lot of people haven't been taught to love and talk to each other, communicate properly in the household and shit like that, raising these kids right. But all in all, we can't make excuses for why we can't do that shit now. Like, it don't matter if my mother wasn't there or my father was whatever. Like, if you're going to take the time to learn yourself, know yourself, love yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can't keep on trying to like make other people's situations, I guess your situation, mm -hmm. whatever, like, yeah. you know, whatever, whatever, like that. Uh, it's, it's a lot though, like I try not to uh, blame anybody for where I am in my life. Yeah. Yeah, I, feel like I get myself to where, I, you know, where I am and shit like that. But I feel like at times when we uh, go back and forth with ourselves, we get beside ourselves and, and it, be, it become difficult, but I'm learning to be open. I don't even have to be as open and snippy, like, yeah. talking to my feelings and shit. But I feel like sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely do. Sometimes. It you gotta happens. get it off your chest sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't be walking around like that. Yeah. Okay. Or just like write some songs and shit. Mm -hmm. that'd, be, that'd be cool. However man. you need to do it. Channel write music. some affirmations. Mm. Yo, I just be wanting to stay consistent with shit like that, and that's what I be meaning. Like you'll start doing something, and then it'd be like, all right, I'm gonna put this into my routine, and then you don't be mm -hmm. as consistent as you like. And that's what it's. It's like a balance. Like I feel like once you find the balance, and when you, you know, once you find the balance, and you introduce yourself to certain stuff, you have to like have in your mind that. I gotta stay consistent no matter what. Mm -hmm. And it be the like no matter what shit shit come up. Like, damn, yo, like my kids wild enough. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time to write no affirmation right. today. But right. I can't keep letting certain shit get me away from what I have to just like put in my life. Exactly. And you know, even if you're not as consistent with it, you feel me? Like if you think about it, just do it. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like as long as you're doing, as long as you're making an effort, you feel me? That's how I feel about it. At least. I'm holding on to that. I, I appreciate that. Like, I need to hear shit like that. I need to. You know, all right, I missed it today. I don't mean miss it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Next day, you feel me? So. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, side note, you know how niggas say they somewhere and they don't be there. Like, you, you all in the middle with shit, obviously. <laughs> I know. Nah, it's all good. Oh, man. 
Yes, yes, yes. Um, I actually have been like looking to expand like my collection of crystals and stuff. Like I really want to do so much, so many things. But like, mm -hmm. like you said, being around like minded niggas, like I need more niggas to tell me at least you made an effort. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. other niggas would be like, no, nah, you supposed to do that. You was supposed, you can't forget. And it's like, yo, it's impossible to just be like a robot and this shit. Like, yeah. I can't be everything at every point in time in my life. You know what I mean? And it's life, like shit just happens unexpectedly all the time. Like mm. shit not always gonna go your way or you mm -hmm. not gonna always have the best luck type shit. You yeah. know? So you know, when those type of things happen, that's fine. You just gotta, you know, roll with the punches and know how to maneuver for real. Mm. Know how to maneuver. <clears throat> That's it. <laughs> I'm try to keep that in my back pocket, for real, yo. Like that's some shit I really need in the day, though. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I just kind of like today showed me how much the universe aligned itself and put the shit into like perspective. Of, this is where you're supposed to be right now. Mm -hmm. This is how shit's supposed to be. Just gotta chill, yo. Like we be we be having ourselves in the fringe. Mm -hmm. you know? like, a lot of shit really start with you and see mine. Overthinking this shit. Yeah. 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 So we get so deep in our mind, yo. That's that's not the look, yo. Know? This guy relax. She don't find the time to relax. I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Ski got guests. I need to get a doorbell. Next season, we're gonna get a doorbell. This, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the way. I'm uh, sorry, you know, I had to give you a spiller. But you know, we're gonna, <laughs> we gonna try it out. Man, um, I don't need, like, you talk your shit, you know? Just drop the fucking album for real. The yes. almanac, that shit everywhere for real. Now we was talking about favorite tracks. Like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to the spectrum this Shit. Yo. Yeah. Yo. RWD, yo. Ha. Video on the way. Good. good Mid good. March type shit. You found me. Type shit. And there's another episode coming like. Yeah, we okay. was thinking 420. Let's just put a question mark right question there. Mark. 420, 420 question mark. Huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, and if I experienced my first one, I'm telling you, so much smoke. You're going to wear a mask in that bitch. You're going to be on so you can't even breathe. And I was in there rapping. Like yeah, <laughs> yo. Yeah, 60 blunts. You feel me? No exaggeration. They not skint, none of that shit, you feel me? I don't even remember what flavors we had. We had like two, three different flavors that night. Mm. Um, I think Fire OG might have been one of them, mm. but I don't even remember that shit. Yeah, like, we, yeah. Hey, get into the Joe juice though. So what was in that? You know? uh, what was that? Um, it was like, I know it was like some type of like wine, probably like Moscato, um, vodka, and like, I want to say like a pink lemonade, maybe. Okay. It was, yeah, and then it was another one mm -hmm. that was like a little um, harder, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that was the dark <laughs> one. That was like the, I think it was Paul. Yeah, that had like peach tea. Yeah, and then like wine. And like some yeah, yeah. red wine or something. Definitely. Yeah, that shit snack. <laughs> Can you a couple cups of them bitches? And then, you know what I said? Cause like me, I'm a light drinker anyway. I had a few cups. Cause it tastes like juice. So yeah, like, that shit. That's how niggas get you. Yeah, that's how they get you. The dangerous drinks. That's what I call them. When that motherfucker right. give me something and I can't even hit the alcohol, I be like, up, oh, there we go. That's it. <laughs> that's that shit. Mm hmm. Mm, I ain't drinking ass nigga. Is there anything specific you want to say about Spectrum or any other songs? Um, any other tracks of that? Yeah, Anything what was the inspiration specific? behind that though? Like I got, but why I got spectrums? You? Um, mm -hmm. what? Yeah, spectrums, okay. and we gonna get an RWD. Okay, so spectrums. I'm trying to think of where I was at when I like wrote that song, but um, just really just playing on like senses. Like I know I remember saying like, um, smell the thunder, taste the rain, type mm -hmm. shit. Like just you know, and just different perspectives like. Being in somebody else's shoes and understanding their perspective, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like being perceptive to someone's perspective, that's literally inside of the hook. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but you know, I'm just a trippy nigga and I like playing with different shit. Like, wow. just, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. making you use both sides of your brain. Like, you never thought about fucking smell of thunder. Like, who the fuck? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like taste the rain. You know I mean? Like yeah. we can taste shapes and touch colors. Like mm -hmm. you know, just making people like think. I feel that, <laughs> and it's like, but you can 
know that though, and it's like to me, it's not like far fetched or nothing. Like I can really grasp the concept of like uh, taste in the rain mm-hmm. or like whatever, like uh, seeing colors and shit like that, or feeling colors yeah, for that matter. Like yeah. I, I definitely grasp that. Yeah. You know, niggas gotta open up your minds. I feel like a lot of people are very receptive to this type of abstract, you know, mm-hmm. situation because a lot of people do it. A lot of people dabble in it, but like yo. Where you put that shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, yo. Yeah, a lot of colorful, a lot of colorful instrumentation. Mm-hmm. My my fucking, you know, lyrics are abstract. Mm. My harmonies are like psychedelic as fuck. Oh, listen. So, you know? You're a soulful nigga, you're gonna appreciate that yeah. shit. Because it's definitely got some funk on it. Yeah. Definitely got some funk on it. Definitely. Definitely got some funk on it. That's Baltimore shit. Definitely. <laughs> 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 you feel me? Um, RWB, mm-hmm. um, Red, Red, White, and Blue. But that, you know, that was basically about just police brutality. Mm-hmm. I made that around the time of when that shit just really stopped kicking off. I yeah. want to say like 2014, 2015, mm-hmm. 2016. That shit started getting real heavy. Yeah. And, you know, I just wrote that junk. Because, you know, I, I, I'm already like known for shit like that anyway. Mm-hmm. That's not far fetched for me to make a song like that, you know. But. Yeah, man, like, it just really hit home when, what happened with uh, Corinne, um, you know, that shit hit home when she went to the city, you feel me, like, niggas know, know her, you feel me, I didn't know she was on, she was on what she was on as far as being a cyber citizen and mm-hmm. all that type of shit, but when I found that out, like, it was like, yo, like, that shit deep, I really gotta dig into her story, really mm-hmm. understand, you feel me, like, what the that. fuck, why was they following her for six months? Mm-hmm. Who the fuck? Like what? You feel me? Like yeah, it's a whole her. story. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Leading up to them, you know, coming in and really like knocking her door down, type shit, shooting her son, yes. killing her dad. Like, and it, it is, you know, I said I started to follow that shit too, cause it's, you know, certain type of shit just hits you, cause I didn't know her personally, mm-hmm. but it's like hearing you know, that story made me feel some sort of way, and I wanted to learn more about her, yeah. just what she was about. Yeah. And she stood for something, you she know what I'm saying? That deep, shit don't bro. make no sense. It's <laughs> You, know, you definitely could learn some shit from her. I definitely learned some mm-hmm. shit from her. For real. I wish I could have, like I was telling Freeze, I wish I could have chopped it up with her. Yeah. You know, but, you okay. know, everything had to fool you. Thanks. I mean, you know, she, she left behind a legacy. You know, unfortunately, definitely. you know, like shit happened the way that it do, but you know, it, it's just a beautiful thing, I feel like, to be able to represent something so big and stand for your people, you know, because, like, we always want to look to the people like Koran and, like, all of the niggas that, I don't even mean to sound ignorant, I'm so sorry, it's the nigga in me, I'm sorry, but, like, all the niggas that, you know, fell victim to, like, police brutality, yeah. like, people of uh, color and all of that shit, like, you know, them niggas still for something. Yeah. And I hate that, you know, it took their life in the way that it did for us to have to come together as a people, but... Mm-hmm. I mean, sadly, sometimes that is what it takes. But like I said, we need to promote more love while we're here. You know, mm-hmm. like they say that shit all the time. Get people their flowers while they're here. Like, yo, that yeah. shit is real facts. Yeah. You because know? we lose people every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And losing somebody is like losing a part of yourself. Yeah. So you definitely got to, like, you know, take the time out to, like, unlearn and relearn. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Love, yo. You got to. That dirt, great shit. <laughs> For real. Stop being a whole ass bitch ass nigga and being mad. And standing and with motherfuckers that stand for something. If you don't what, stand for nothing, if you see somebody standing for some shit, stand with them. You feel me? That's at the very least, that's what you could do. Like, it's too many of our leaders and niggas that's out here really trying to, like, make a change for us, mm-hmm. like, individually for our kids and shit, and niggas right. not doing shit. Niggas out here killing niggas left Nipsey. Dr. Sebi, you Not feel me? Like, I could go all the way back to Malcolm X and all of them mm-hmm. niggas, but like, it's like, it's crazy. Like, yo, how's niggas out here really killing these niggas and they out here doing this shit for us? Mm-hmm. And we ain't doing shit. Not niggas nothing. can't even not watch the NFL. That shit's crazy <laughs> to me. That shit is crazy to me. Like, she ain't lying. that shit is crazy to me. Like, she yo, niggas is out here. He took a knee. Niggas whole kick this nigga out the whole and if this nigga don't even they have a black ball, this for nigga us, person, yeah. for us, you feel me? And niggas at the very least can't watch the NFL. Because niggas don't Because niggas weak, nothing. you feel me? That's some weak shit. That's pussy. <laughs> That's pussy. Like, I can't respect that, you feel me? But I'm supposed to respect niggas though. Mm-hmm. But you can't not watch the NFL for us. You supposed to protect us, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, I, you know, I'm a shit. I'm a digress. But you know, like, y'all <laughs> nah, supposed we, to be protecting us, but y'all can't not watch the NFL. 
Because niggas gotta step outside they self. <laughs> that shit bigger crazy. than you. Yeah, I mean? yeah, it's yeah. a whole bigger picture. You that know shit what I'm saying? Crazy. You you just a part of that motherfucker. So like And that's just that, you feel mm-hmm. me? We're not asking niggas to hold boycott and not buy from this store. If niggas can't watch the NFL, they definitely not about to not buy from this store. Like, yeah, you feel me? Like, come on, yeah. yo. Like, you feel me? It's, it's and, it's, and it's all for the look of it. You know what I'm saying? Because like, even when, like, certain, uh, like, Gucci and all that shit was promoting all of them, them clothes, yeah. them derogatory clothes and that shit, like, um, offending our people, monkeys and shit. What the fuck is you doing? And then niggas was like, nah, I'm still, I'm still going to be a Gucci belt. Mm-hmm. I don't really <laughs>